this morning the anti corruption commission <laughs> visited his property and my property we are neighbors i had no idea that uh, the anti corruption commission had also visited honorable harry kalaba um the major contention we have and uh, we'll just discuss briefly is that uh, this is an act of harassment honorable harry kalaba that's why I've, that's how i've taken it uh, and I know it's a clear case of harassment, even for you. Because yeah. I know, even for your property that you're talking about, it's a matter that the SEC had even tried, the previous government had tried to harass you over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, accept my commiserations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But you know, it's not a big deal at all, mm. because uh, as you've rightly put it, uh, the property which is uh, in question a plot 186 uh, i mean 183 uh is the property that was uh built uh, using the gratuity in 2016 mm -hmm. and uh, i got another gratuity uh, after i resigned and uh, we yeah. tried to finish and uh, went ahead to try and see if we can get a loan from the bank at mm -hmm. the zambia bank uh, we have led our lives and i say we myself and my wife and the family we've led a life that is very transparent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the Anti-Corruption Commission wants to go and visit our property in Chester, we still ask them to go. If they want to go and visit other property in Woodlands, we still tell them. Mm -hmm. uh, because these are things that we can account for. And yeah. uh, I'm only shocked myself that uh, they can uh, begin playing such games. But you see, I think this is where President Akainde Hichilema mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. losing it. Yeah. And if yeah. this is the way he's going to be fighting corruption, mm -hmm. Mm. then he's going to decimate the fight against corruption completely because mm. even those mm. that should mm. be held captive will run away yeah. and yeah. it will be looked like it is witch hunt mm. simply because mm. everybody is being put in the net yeah you yeah. know i mean i have known you myself i mean i can't but i've known you yeah and yeah. i know what you are getting when you are a diplomat at yes. Ministry of foreign affairs yeah diplomats get a lot of money <laughs> no zambians don't know that <laughs> diplomats <laughs> no get idea. a lot of money that's why they uh, run let to me, go let me speak to that <laughs> yeah yeah why they scramble when you have 38 missions yeah so at the time you only have uh, about 38 ambassadors and some consular general so it's a uh, it's, it's a high privilege i always thank president edgar lungu who appointed me as um uh, you know, ambassador, high commissioner to South Africa and to Ethiopia. So what we get as an ambassador is almost ten thousand dollars, depending on the station. It depends. Where, if you are in Washington, you get yeah. about twenty-one thousand dollars yeah. a month. So if I'm in Washington, I'll get twenty-one thousand yeah. dollars. That's four hundred thousand kwacha a month. Yes. Umana utawa kwata mano. Te tukure kwa maflats. And our ambassador. Tamu no aimo fena ishiba. M kwa. Tamu pe. Huh? <laughs> so you are getting ten thousand dollars for our colleagues that were for example in washington because of the high cost of living would get twenty one thousand dollars yeah we'll say you can't save a five thousand or ten thousand dollars a month and that's a lot of money in quacha terms this is a lot yeah. yeah so i i was surprised that they are attempting to criminalize and for me i worked under dr chuwa's constitution office for a period of 10 years. When I was separated, I, I served as a, a deputy permanent secretary for 10 years, 2003 to 2011. I was given a gratuity because when you are appointed as permanent secretary, they have to retire you. The position of permanent secretary, you have to be put on a contract. Yes. So they retire you from your position of civil service. They even pay you. And then you have this contract. And, you know, if the contract is cut short, you are still paid a lot of money. So like you, I've had three huge gratuities. Yeah. And for the last seven years, I've been earning a large sum. So, and I'd always tell my diplomats that you never uh, live a life of kings while you are away. Because no. you, are, you are going back home one day. So build. And I used to demonstrate by my And example. you know, just what you are saying that you've come to my place here. Yeah. I have lived here. Yeah, from yeah. Uh, 2008. Yes, uh, yes. When I just as a civil servant, this has been home. Mm, Even mm. when I was Minister of Foreign Affairs, when I was Lands Minister, when mm. I was, we have always lived our lives. Um, and and I know you might not want to make it public, but I know you also run businesses on the side. Yes. Yeah. Very yes. successful business. Yes. You you supported a newspaper. 
yes. which was in probably lost making for a long time, yes. for many years, yes. you know. So, so for, for, for them to attempt, but it comes very clearly that President Akain Dechlema is using the law enforcement agencies to shut voices that are critical, to shut voices that are criticizing him. You've been very critical of him. And by coincidence, <laughs> just the other day, you raised a matter against a, a state house official and you, you, you called on President Daka Indechilema for that official's position to be regularized. And you, you made a mistake. You also commented on I, I, I supported you. No, you're not talking about ACC. Can't you think I supported you? But look, I mean, and I was shocked because the, the other gentleman in question is not even the one I was referring to. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. how would you just come because you're occupying that position? I mean, yeah. it's it's for the president to, to no, respond. It, we, and even you are article, talking, talking about illegality. Yes, and even article 92, mm. sub article 2, mm. F. Yeah. Uh, it's not one to be looked at in abeyance. And in isolation. And in isolation. Mm. You know, that is an article which will only work mm. if it is mm. used within a certain channel. Yeah. The yeah. president's powers, as you like putting it, are not mm. carte blanche. No, no. Uh, no, 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 no. It can have They are regulated and they are guided. But it mm. must be guided. Mm. So if mm. a person has not been sworn in, mm. if a person has not been, uh, uh, has not received total authority for the position, yeah. then the position becomes irregular. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. It, Regardless of who makes it, that's why you find that presidents, after the end of their offices, mm, they mm. are brought to book. Yeah. Why? Yeah. It's not because they didn't have the powers. They could have had the powers. They could have either they have used the their powers, yeah. or yeah. they didn't use their powers appropriately. Mm. And that's mm. the challenge that uh, yeah. that we have. So that's a coincidence we have for people that follow these matters is that we criticize uh, an official at state house yeah. who we think that the president should regularize his position. And he should. And he should. Yeah, he should. He should. Yeah, he should. Because the structure of government he has should. been a civil service is servant for the last 20 years and yes. i know how for example a position is created there is um, a, a division called uh, uh, um, public management uh, uh, public service management division yeah before, uh, before then MDD. there's public service commission yeah yeah then there's management development division, division yes exactly yes. these so, three uh, these three bodies of the civil service work in tandem in tandem yes. the public service commission basically is the one which uh, puts up jobs. Yeah, yeah. They're the yeah, ones who yeah. streamline jobs. So first, the public before service management that, division then that, gives the responsibility. No, before that, yeah. management development division (MDD) comes to assess if you need that position or not. Yes, or not. Exactly. Do you need to create a department? Do you need to create a ministry, or do you need to create a single position? Yes. And then they create job descriptions. Then they create qualifications yeah. required for that position. Yeah. yeah. And then it goes to PSMG, yes. who then has to seek authority. Yes. Because the minister of finance has to. Uh, fund that office. He has to find money who did the vote. Yes, yes. And this if it's not there, thing? sometimes, many times, they no. are deferred to the following year. Yes. Because the budget has been done, you know, uh, uh, you don't want budget overruns. And so people think that appointing one is just that simple. No. It is not. Even it is if you are a president, yeah. for yeah. as long as you're bringing something which is outside the establishment, mm. the mm. law requires that you follow the that procedures. You follow the procedures. Yeah. MDD yeah. has to come in, mm. Public P Service mm. Commission has to come in, and then PSMD. finally PSMD yeah. has to yeah. come in. If mm. that is not done, mm. that is irregular. Yeah. And so I was surprised that a novice uh, at the civil service yeah. would want to school me. You? Who, or now... who started your career as a, <laughs> as as a civil, civil servant? <laughs> <laughs> and rose in the ranks as a and civil rose servant. In the ranks By the time you're becoming an MP in 2011, <laughs> people don't, don't realize that you have been a civil servant yes. for, for a so long time. these harassments, uh, Ambassador, mm. uh, are uncalled for. Mm. Uh, President Akainde Ichilema will not succeed mm. if he continues doing that. Yeah. Uh, as you say, for me, the same property in question is talking about has been a subject of investigation before. Mm, mm, we mm. have had the DEC at my residence before when I resigned as minister, you are aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have had our vehicles uh, uh, seized at some point after mm. I resigned. So these are not new things. Mm, but mm. this will not deter us yeah, yeah, from yeah. making sure that we speak for the people of Zambia. Mm, I think this mm. will not stop us from making sure that the people of Zambia mm. uh, are, are well represented yeah, and true, we'll continue true. talking for them for as long as what is right is right and yeah. what is wrong. If indeed the Harry Kalav has got an offense, let him be punished. Yes, so what? No, it's clear that the yeah. SEC, and that's why they are having difficulties to garner support for the fight against corruption. No matter how eloquent the president speaks about it, no matter how he appears to sincerely speak to this, it doesn't have support because doesn't. of things like this yes. where you use and abuse law enforcement agencies 
you know, you use them as tools of oppression. If you and I were quiet, the ACC would not have been here. How would they even be here? Yeah, yeah, they, they are, yeah. they're only here because uh, they because want Because you are silence. criticizing government. But I mean, let them put restriction orders as much as they want. Mm, mm. We would, I mean, Job in the scripture says, naked I came. Yeah. Naked Good I shall right. return. Yeah. I was not born with everything. If I can each them once, he can even get all of them. Mm, it doesn't mm, matter. Mm, but mm. he must know no, no, that we must, hold him accountable. We, we, we must call that lawlessness to order. No, but that lawlessness will be fought. We have a right to of own a property. Of course, we are going to high court. The fundamental right for you to own a property legitimately end <laughs> cannot be taken away no. because one is president no. or because I'm speaking against him no. or because I'm criticizing him. So he hopes that then he will inconvenience It's not happen. No, it would not. It's a wrong method, but it's mm. a good trial. Mm. It's a good attempt, mm. Mm. but it will mm. not work. Yeah. It's far from it. It cannot work. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Uh, it's uh, for lesser men. Uh, yeah. For some yeah. of us, we are, Your Excellency, we are resolved. Yeah. yeah. Resolved to a point of giving up even ministerial positions mm. for as long as it will take that was us to represent. You did, yeah. Thank you, Excellency. Mm. For as long mm. as it takes us to say what is true yeah. and what is right, mm. it doesn't matter. And we are ready for the ramifications. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a pity that uh, people that want to show that they are good at governance mm. can begin playing such kind of shenanigans. Mm. to want to distract the public. I think yeah, yeah. people are interested in the high cost of millimil. Yeah. People are interested in the high cost of fuel. Mm. People are interested in the dollar stabilizing. Yeah. People yeah. are interested in these issues and you want to distract them mm. by bringing restriction notices to Ambassador Mwamba mm. and Harry Kalaba who are, in the ne uh, uh, who are neighbors. Mm. I think it doesn't work that way. Yeah. I think I've been yeah. around myself here. Everybody in the neighborhood knows. Yeah, you are among the earliest that came yes. here. We were Actually, found I'm the here. founder here. <laughs> New headman. I'm the headman. <laughs> Okay, for the social media audience, we'll do something very formal. We've got a media organization that has joined us, so we will speak formally to that media. Um, and um, thank you, colleagues, for, for coming. Um, uh, this, morning, this morning, we received officers from the Anti-Corruption Commission who saved um, myself, Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, with a restriction notice over my property here in Balmoro, McKinney. And unknown to me, uh, Honorable Harry Karaba had also received a similar uh, restriction over his property again here in McKinney, Balmoro. Um, we have condemned this action against, uh, you know, by the SEC. For me, what I've stated is the law should not be used or abused in the manner that it is being abused. I've called on the SEC should have first called me to establish my sources of income. Exactly. If they became aware of a property that they thought could not commensurate That's with procedural. my in in income, they should have called me, interviewed me, asked me to submit uh, records and details of my income that built that property. But just to come and save me for the first time with a, a, a restriction notice, uh, uh, we've taken it as an act of harassment, an act to silence the opposition, an act to silence critics of the president. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, in the same vein as, as, uh, as Ambassador Mwamba has said it, in uh, 2017, uh, when I resigned as a Foreign Affairs Minister, the Anti-Corruption Commission had uh, summoned me over a property here, the same property, and uh, I think uh, they tried to be very professional that time because they called me and asked me how I managed to build the flats in question. And I explained to them uh, that, look, I have been member of parliament two terms and I use my gratuity and you can go and uh, verify this. I also verified the loan I had with Indo Zambia Bank. And uh, they were satisfied that uh, there was nothing wrong that I had uh, I'd done. The same happened with the vehicles that they came. They even got vehicles that had gotten from parliament and they discovered that those vehicles were legitimately gotten from uh, the National Assembly then as a member of parliament. Now, for President Akainde Hichilem again to begin uh, going round circles, uh, when he said, you see what will happen this month, uh, how people are going to be prosecuted, and uh, if this is the way he's fighting corruption, then the fight against corruption is doomed. Yeah. It's completely lost, because even people that have stolen from the public, some of us resigned as a result of abuse, uh, of office. If uh, people will be allowed to go scot-free as a result of playing games like this, mm, mm. you are now shielding mm. the real people that should be facing the law. Mm. 
because mm. everybody if you're going to put them in this kind of uh, an umbrella because of politics then you're going to miss it and this is why when we say president Akainde Chile is basically doing job on training these are the things that we're talking yeah. about the yeah. president doesn't uh, he doesn't have a clue of uh, how this fight should have been he should have allowed the anti-corruption commission to be autonomous yeah. and give them the political will rather than putting them under his office as a result of that he has lost the fight and because he has lost the fight he will also lose the elections in 2026 because there's nothing that he's standing for mm -hmm. and uh, if you'll be harassing people he's been telling you ambassador Mwamba that has been an ambassador and that was foreign affairs minister by the way mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I know how much an ambassador earns mm -hmm. as a minister of foreign affairs i know that when you go to a place like london an ambassador does not earn less than fifteen thousand pounds a month yeah. When you go to Washington, an ambassador doesn't earn less than $20,000 a month. Mm. When you go to Atsababa, an ambassador earns an average of about $10,000 yeah. a month. And uh, so when you look at the monies that they earn, and then you begin doing that, it's a lack of research on yeah. the part of the president, and he's acting uh, out of lack of understanding of how the system works. When you pursue a person that has been very conservative like myself, like I said, I've been in this place myself for a very long time i even refused to move out of my residence because i wanted to be comfortable with with where i am modestly like this and uh, even what we have done has been very modest we have relied on banks ourselves to finish our projects and that's how we do it mm -hmm. uh, so for someone to come without even giving you an opportunity to be heard and just give you a restriction and notice that now don't sell this property until we finish investigations is an abuse of the law and it's unacceptable in a democratic dispensation such as ours we will yes, not allow it yeah there's a matter of concern yeah. uh, regarding the president's address on saturday where when he made reference to the um, creation of the economic and financial crimes court he says everything is in place and will ensure that this this process people go to jail in the next 90 days now that's extremely dangerous the judiciary is independent the judiciary as a chief justice who responds to the constitution. The executive cannot give directives no. of how long court cases should take and what period those cases should be implemented. The president is exerting unnecessary pressure to the judiciary to convict persons whether they are guilty or not. I think, uh, just not to cut you short, Your Excellency, yeah. I think he must pick a leave from his colleague, uh, Levi Manawasa. Yeah. Uh, he might not have liked President Chiluga. May both of their souls rest in peace. But he was sure that he allowed the due process of the law to take to take, to, I mean, take mm. place without putting a, a cap on it. Yeah. It is not in his space, the president, it is not in his space to begin saying this is how long the judiciary should go. Mm. Mm. That is mm. why the basic civics, mm. which I know the president studied, will tell you that uh, the independence of the three organs of government, the legislature, which is parliament, yeah the executive which is his cabinet and the judiciary which is headed by uh chief justice uh what is his name again mumba malila, mumba malila. The state council, yes yeah. the, a, a state council these three independent wings of government yeah. must be allowed to op op operate independently you cannot make an announcement on behalf of another wing in parliament he announced that is 90 days people will go to jail that the process has to complete within 90 days i think it's important for the judiciary to acquit themselves from those directives. Exactly. They should remind the president that they obey the constitution. And the constitution assumes that you have a right to innocence, that you cannot be deemed guilty in the manner that the executive is dealing with. There is a lot of governance, there's persons. a lot of governance issues the president must be schooled on. And yeah. I hope that the, his handlers, I don't know what's happening at cabinet office because what we used to do ourselves in the civil service, when ministers come, we used to call an orientation for ministers. Yeah to know the do's and don'ts mm -hmm. and it is incumbent upon the secretary of the cabinet and the office of the president to sit down with the president yeah. and yeah. tell him how his powers work how in what ways his powers should work mm -hmm. but it looks to me that that kind of thing never happened mm -hmm. with what mm -hmm. we are seeing now because it's absurd yeah. that you can go to an august house mm -hmm. and announce mm -hmm that uh now it will take 90 days yes i've set up the economic and financial you don't do that we thought it was a chief justice yes indeed. yes so it appears the chief it, justice it's... is a mayor cover yeah, it was set up by you can't do that uh, you can't do that by himself yeah you can't do that okay so as we...